If you want to see this location, stay tuned and come with me and join my vlog. Welcome friends to my vlog and thank you for turning in in German in Venice. My vlog is going towards downtown Los Angeles. We're gonna to go to Echo Park. This is the big weekend, a Memorial Day weekend. Normally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's really packed on the beach and business would be booming. It kind of hurts my feelings and I feel really bad that I cannot work. And I don't know how to deal with this right now, but it's, it's kind of hard for me because all those years I've always been working all those days. Anyway, check out my vlog. All this has a pretty big impact on my mood. I was in such a good mood, but the more I think about the weekend coming up, I don't know. Check out how busy the freeway is going towards downtown. You can tell already you're going in the right direction because you see downtown coming closer and closer. I am right here in front of Dominic Toretto's house in Echo Park, the mega franchise Fast and the Furious, which made over $4 billion. Look, you can come here anytime. There's always fans right in front of the house taking pictures. She got a really cool car. Look at this. Don Toretto's car. Don That's Toretto. right. That's his car. <laughs> in the movie, they did not have any fence around the property and they did not have all the bushes. So that was a clear shot. That was just the wall right here. And I got this picture. I want to match up right here. This is where he's standing. Dominic Toretto, AKA Vin Diesel. And this is a shot where the house explodes, but I think this was all CGI because the house is still here, right? I guess, I'm not sure. I don't think they rebuilt the house. So let's think that was all CGI. And here you can tell how they prepared the house for the scene when it explodes. The bottom is all like painted on. It looks like exploded. Maybe they used a green screen or not. I'm not sure. And this is how the house would look if all the cars would be parked in front of it. it matches up perfectly. Can you imagine how it feels doing all those movies with your friends and then your friend passes away? I mean, it must be devastating for everybody. This is where it happened right here. Unbelievable how loud the birds are. Did you know that Paul Walker was not the first choice to play Brian O'Connor? It was Eminem, Christian Bale, and Mark Wahlberg. In 2015, when Vin Diesel got his first baby girl, he named her Paulina in honor of Paul Walker. I clearly understand what they're going through. Every day people come by, like me, do videos, do pictures. They wanna walk on top of the stairs. They wanna walk right here, take pictures. You see the garage right here? The garage was never here. They built a garage on this neighbor's property. That's where they also have the sign out, keep out, because they were doing parties, celebrating birthdays and everything right around the corner. That's where they had the table and you could see downtown in the background. I want to go there so bad and film in the back, but I'm not going to do it today. Normally I could run there real fast, but now I'm not going to do it. The garage that built in the back that played the biggest part in the movie. If you watch the movies, you see all the houses call out really light. This one was also white. So the cars, they're always parked in front of the house. The color popped better on screen. That's why all the houses in the background were a light color. Did you know that Michelle Rodriguez and Jordan Brewster, they didn't have a driver's license when they first started filming. They had to do the driver's license before they started. Otherwise they could not be in the movie. I mean, look at the backdrop here, downtown Los Angeles. How cool is this picture? So I wanted to match up this picture where they're all standing in front of downtown Los Angeles. I thought it would be somewhere around here 
which is not. I found out this is the Dodger Stadium parking lot. But this one is closed right now. And that's why I can't go there. I just match it up right here. But that's it, downtown LA. There we got Bob's Market. The police is controlling the area frequently because there's always people. They try to do some donuts right there in the middle of the street in front of the market. Like I said, be careful when you come down here. He just pulled somebody over just now. Look at all the skid marks from the donuts right in front of Bob's Market here. You better be careful when you come down here. Make sure there's no police around. And this is Bob's Market, AKA Toretto's Market. Right here is where the fight scene took place. And then if you walk a little further down, this is where Dominic tells Brian that he just got fired. This is the house right here. Everything is still the same and the police on the left is lurking, looking for people. And what I really like about the store is that they actually sell merchandise from the movie. You can see all those cars, Brian's cars, Dominic cars. So you can come here and buy their cars in the market. We got another photo to match up when Brian is walking away. To his car when he leaves the market he was just fighting earlier it looks exactly the same only the bushes grew higher yeah he just pulled over another one this corner is a pretty good corner to make money for the police and another one and here we got one more picture to match up and paul walker comes out the market walking to his car I mean constantly people are driving by here and checking out the market and buying stuff here even those people just stop by to take pictures of the store Bob's market turns into Toretto's market I mean just imagine how many people just come here to buy something because that was his market. This is literally a garage door, if you can tell. Trying to match this picture up from the inside. Let's, let's go inside, check it out. So this is the market right here. When you walk in. And this is where he ate his tuna every day. That's the market. It looks totally different than in the movie. I think that's where he was sitting in the back. Vin Diesel, remember? He was in the back doing something. And I think they had the countertop right here. I love it. I mean, I gotta buy something here. Of course, when you're in the market, you have to wear a mask. But that's it. This is the market right here. They actually have pictures of the movie here. They probably filmed some other movies here too. It even had a different name at one time. So when you come down here, make sure you support the people here. They make a living with this. And like I said, you can check out those cars right here. He doesn't want to go to Fat Burger or McDonald's. He likes the tuna without the crust from right here. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker were practicing on Formula One cars for the chase scenes. Look at all the donuts here. When Paul Walker died, the movie Furious 7 was only half done. They needed Paul Walker's real life uh, brothers to finish the movie for him and CGI and of course the stunt double. 
Well, friends, that was it from Dominic Toretto's house here in Echo Park from the series Fast and the Furious. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get out of here. Woo!